Three years ago, Nidok's life changed. A whole new world opened up to her. Literally. I'm a red knight. She's had many adventures in the other realm since. Being on the brink of getting eaten can be an upsetting situation. But this one is life-changing. She shouldn't have grabbed her ankle and then he wouldn't have skipped along. Together with her best friend, a tiny kitten wobbled towards me. We saved each other. She faces baddies. The trick with these guys is to numb them and they'll just turn around and stumble elsewhere. I am not a slurp. I am a slurp. Her couch exploded. Twisted tropes. It's a classic, but dragons are rare and almost extinct trope. I should call this world Troponia instead of the other realm. Not romance. She knew this wasn't the elusive love at first sight. That was a trope too unbelievable to exist. She did, however, believe in lust at first sight. Betrayal. The deep sadness of betrayal. New friendships. They obviously liked each other. Blackie had curled up and Kitty was lying in the middle of the dragon donut, both purring away. Follow Nadak and Kitty as family secrets unravel and the ultimate tropes need to be solved. Earth might even be in danger, the biggest trope of them all. A hero, she mumbled. I'm going to need to be a gold rock getting hero. Sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? An adventure full of quirkiness, silliness, seriousness, laughter, tears, weird creatures, magic, a cat and a dragon. A new episode every week available on all familiar podcatchers. I think that is it, maybe. I don't know what the fuck am I doing.